actually uh, recording my another video because I use my phone to record everything um, I actually got a message to let me know that the equipment that I bought I've actually made a few sales this month and I thought since I got money I'm gonna buy new equipment and I got some new 160 mesh screens I got six of them and I also got myself a flash dryer a flash dryer look at me no more heat gun for Zach oh, I'll still use it but I'm gonna unpack these bad boys and you're gonna see it this I mean I don't know these they seem they seem pretty well packed so I'll open it up and we'll have a look at it and see if my screens are all together and <laughs> uh, I, I'm I've got my expectations down here that I've got one or two screens that are going to be wrecked but let's see what it looks like so here are my screens I'm gonna just open her up ba -ba -ba -ba. and I'm not gonna cut into the actual tape Nothing looks damaged. Oh man, 160 mesh screens. 160 mesh screens. I've been wanting some of these for so long. I started with the 110s, and you know, they're really good. But I think I might keep my 110 mesh screens for underbase and things like that, and actually use these for doing the designs. So I'm just gonna move this box out of the way. And then I'm gonna unpack them and just have a look at them. So. Put them up individually and then have a look and make sure that the mesh and the glue are all good. So you can do that with me. I'll put it up and then you can sort of have a little bit of an inspection and make sure that they're all Fine. Wow, these screens are like really well built. They're a lot better than the screens that I've been using. Like the actual construction is really good. They're a lot, like there's, so you can even feel the difference in these ones compared to the ones I've been using. Like the frames are quite thick. And even the way that they're glued is different. And I'm really, really happy with the way these are. You know, I might even just put a link in for all my Australian screen printers to the ones that I've just bought, but I'm 100% happy with that I love the way they were packed and they've even got like they've even got little uh, stoppers on there just to sort of uh, absolutely fantastic there's the glue like there's no blobs everywhere like my other ones where the glues actually ended up on the mesh and stuff like that so what I'm going to do is get my flash dryer out. Oh, I'm like a pig in... A pig in... Oh, it's a pig in something. So I'm going to get that out and I'm going to assemble this bad boy. I've just come up against a problem that some of the actual holes are going to have to be drilled because there's like welding. The actual bolt can't go through properly. So there's like blobs of welds 
as you can can you see them? You know. Ah, that's not too bad. I'll just draw that out anyway and get rid of them. Shouldn't be too bad, but it looks like it's going to cut and go together pretty easily. I might stick a link down to this one as well, this flash dryer. Just again, I'd like to try and help out. I bought it, then I'll give a bit of review and then let anybody know who's interested in getting a flash dryer, what I'm using. and You might like it, you might not, but it's better to just give out as much information as possible to try and help out that screen printing community because I love you. Let's keep building this thing. on there there it is absolutely fantastic I mean it's grown pretty well that was so easy to assemble and it's this is the 18 by 18 so there's a fair bit a fair bit to it you know the size is actually quite big actually pretty happy my screens look awesome my uh, flash dryer looks awesome and I can't wait to get to use it I think my son has literally just woken up from his nap I was a little bit loud but I was a little bit excited so I'm gonna have to wait till the weekend until I actually get to have a little bit of a tryout but with the magic of editing I'll be in my shed like this. Transportation. Yeah! See that? That's how nimble I am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my flash dryer. I've already got a screen that has been exposed and has an actual uh, stencil on there, a positive. I'm gonna use my flash dryer. I can't use my screens. So that's, that's the 110 screen right there. It's a 110. I'm actually gonna have to build myself a new drying rack. This drying rack right here, it's not wide enough for my screens. But hey, those are the breaks. Maybe I'll make, make, I'll make another video of showing people how to make a drying rack because this one here isn't that good. It's sort of, it, it was put together quickly. I had a weekend where I could just sort of nip out for an hour and a half and make something just so I could dry them out, wash them, dry them, emulsion them and then do a few jobs that I had to do. I literally just threw it together but I'm actually going to spend some time on the next build so I'll have to record that and then we can do that together but I'm gonna, I've already got ink on my screen, I've got a shirt here and we're gonna put some ink onto the shirt which is white plastisol onto a black shirt and then we're going to use a, a flash dryer to just flash it. So I'm going to do a print, flash, print. And then we're going to see it working. We're going to see, we're going to see something, we're going to see something happen. So enjoy. Now I've got my actual design up and ready. I'm gonna bring it over and then we're gonna check the temperature of this. So, it rises very fast. Once you get that, once you take that shot off of the platen, that heat starts to rise very fast. And now we're starting to see the smoke come out there. That's the moisture and the actual uh, plasticol curing.
And there we are. A t-shirt using white plaster sole and, and a flash dryer. So it really made the process that much easier. Once that was up to temperature, just bringing it across, letting it sort of get that ink dry, just flashing it before I put the up next uh, coat down. Put a coat of ink down, bring it across. Oh, so much easier. So fingers crossed this goes well. I hope you liked the video. I hope this might, I'll put a link to it in the description. And hey, it's up, 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 and up. Up, 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 up. But I'm sure we'll see how we go. I love you. I appreciate you. Ciao.